Hi everyone, this is Ripper with Stream the Deck, and today I just wanted to show you the quickest way to get set up to run Torchlight Infinite on the Steam Deck. So the first thing you're going to do um, is hit your Steam button and go into your controller settings. Now once you get into your controller settings, you're going to need to run a custom layout. You'll probably start off using one of these layouts from the original templates here, but the best option that I've found so far is to go to community layouts. And I've tried all these ones that have a lot of hours played, but I always had issues with them. And the one that seems to work best for me is this one by Ziggy Zori. And this one seems to have a pretty good layout for all the buttons. And, uh, and, and this is the one I use the, all the time. I've tried several others, just this one seems to be the best I've seen so far. So you're gonna choose that one. And then you can just hit B to back out of that and get to the game. And from there, um, uh, I'll kind of explain how the layout works. So with your left uh, stick, you can kind of walk around here and do your normal walking without any issues. So that's been an issue with some of the other ones I've used. Uh, and with your right stick, you're going to have your uh, arrow here. So for moves that uh, tie into the, the whole movement thing, like uh, let's see this one right here, this one is a lot harder to use with other layouts and in this one you can see it just kind of follows my cursor and I'm using the right thumbstick uh, to move the cursor around so that makes it pretty easy now if you just want to walk you can still use your left thumbstick but if you want to move with one of your actual uh, movement skills then you'll need to use the right thumbstick and if you want to um, shoot uh, such as uh, my normal shot is what I use here uh, well, you're going to aim that with your right thumbstick. You cannot move and shoot um, as easily as you can on the PC, uh, but this is the best alternative I've seen so far. So I can still walk around with my left thumbstick, and I can still zip around the screen with my movement skill on the right thumbstick, and then stop and shoot using the right trigger whenever I need to. Um, all of your buttons on the back are the ones that control your Q, W, E, and R. So um, see, I'm hitting all of those right now. So those are the four buttons that are on the back of the um, grips on the controller. So this seems to be a pretty good layout. I definitely recommend it. Um, and if you want to get to all your menu options, you can use your D-pad on the top left of the controller. And that will take you to your skills and your inventory and your um, hero traits and your talents. So. Um, Pretty good layout, if I say so myself. So, uh, big thanks to uh, Ziggy Zuri for getting that thing created. All right, thanks everybody.